For decades, the aviation industry has struggled to balance fuel efficiency with high passenger capacity. Twin-engine aircraft have dominated due to their lower operating costs, while four-engine giants like the Airbus A380 have faded due to inefficiency. But what if there were a middle ground? A design that combines the efficiency of twin jets with the power and capacity of quad jets. The answer is on the trijet. But how can it balance these rigorous requirements? Why can the trijet challenge the aviation industry? Let's see. Let's face it, airlines make money from the number of passengers on board. The more seats, the higher the revenue. But here's the challenge. Every passenger adds to fuel consumption, creating a tough equation. How to balance passenger capacity with operating costs. In the past, giants like the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 dominated the skies. Airlines packed them with passengers, generating massive profits. Even today, carriers like Emirates continue to operate the A380 successfully. But there's a major issue. These aircraft rely on four engines, a design that's no longer optimal in an era where fuel efficiency is everything. This is also the key reason why such massive jets are either history or slowly being phased out. At present, aviation technology hasn't yet developed engines powerful enough to operate a double-deck aircraft with only two engines. As a result, aircraft like the Boeing 777X, Boeing 787, and Airbus A350, all twin-engine designs, remain unmatched in fuel efficiency. So, is there a solution? Of course, but it is a bold idea. Reducing the number of engines to three. However, unlike older trijet designs, this third engine wouldn't need to be overly powerful. It would mainly assist during takeoff and serve as a safety backup in flight. Could this be the perfect answer to balancing fuel efficiency with passenger capacity? The trijet concept first emerged in 1962 with a bold idea. Instead of two or four engines, engineers believed that three engines would provide the perfect balance between fuel efficiency and operational power. Leading this innovation was the Hawker Siddeley Trident, a pioneering British aircraft that made its first flight on January 9, 1962, and entered service with British European Airways in 1964. The Trident was more than just another aircraft. It introduced Autoland technology a groundbreaking advancement at the time, allowing it to land even in extremely low visibility conditions. However, despite being the first to usher in the Trijet era, the Trident was soon overshadowed by much larger contenders, the DC-10 and MD-11. The DC-10 and MD-11 were designed with a straight-through third engine, mounted directly on the tail. This placement simplified maintenance and provided a quieter cabin, enhancing passenger comfort. However, no design is without trade-offs. The tail-mounted engine configuration made the rear heavier, impacting aircraft control. Despite this, the rear engine placement offered key advantages. It optimized boarding and deplaning, allowing passengers to move faster and improve takeoff performance in hot and high-altitude airports, where engine efficiency is critical. One of the most notable airlines to operate trijets was KLM, which flew the MD-11, commercial trijet in service, from 1993 to 2014. With a fleet of 10 MD-11, KLM regularly deployed them on long-haul routes such as Amsterdam Schiphol to Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau. As an evolution of the DC-10, the MD-11 featured an 11% longer fuselage, a modernized cockpit, and the removal of the need for a flight engineer, streamlining operations. However, if there was one trijet that truly left a lasting legacy, it was the Boeing 727. Before the rise of the 737, the 727 was Boeing's best-selling aircraft, dominating the skies in the 1970s and 1980s. With 1,832 units produced between 1962 and 1984, it became the go-to choice for airlines worldwide, flying on everything from domestic routes to international operations. Today, 41 years after production ended, only a handful of 727s remain in service, primarily with cargo carriers and military forces. Ironically, there are now more 727s in museums than in the skies, a bittersweet tribute to the greatness and nostalgia of the trijet era. Given the remarkable success of past trijets, perhaps it's time for airlines to seriously reconsider reviving the three-engine design. Firstly, as mentioned above, trijet balance between performance and fuel efficiency. This aircraft offers a balance between operational performance and fuel consumption, positioned between the two most common aircraft types, twin jets and quad jets.
Compared to four-engine aircraft like the Boeing 747 or Airbus A380, trijets consume less fuel due to having one fewer engine. This significantly reduces operating costs while still maintaining greater thrust compared to twin-engine aircraft. For long-haul flights, it can serve as an ideal middle-ground solution. While modern twin-engine aircraft are fuel-efficient thanks to advanced technology, they may face limitations in certain conditions such as high-altitude airports or, or hot weather, where additional thrust is required. The third engine in this aircraft can provide the necessary power boost without excessively increasing fuel consumption. If optimized with modern technology, trijets could be more fuel-efficient than quadjets while still offering more power than twinjets. Secondly, with three engines, the aircraft has a significant advantage in thrust over twin-engine aircraft, particularly in challenging flight conditions. At high-altitude airports such as El Alto International Airport, Bolivia, or Denver International Airport, USA, where thin air reduces engine performance, twin-engine aircraft may struggle to take off with a full payload. However, trijets, with an additional engine, can compensate for this shortfall, ensuring a safer and more efficient takeoff. Additionally, in hot weather conditions, jet engines often operate less efficiently due to thinner air, which reduces thrust power. This is especially critical for airports in the Middle East or tropical regions. These aircraft can maintain more stable performance under these conditions, allowing aircraft to take off without the need to reduce payload capacity. Thirdly, one of the biggest advantages of trijets over twinjets is their higher level of safety in emergencies. If one engine fails, a twin-engine aircraft can still continue flying with the remaining engine, but this increases operational risk. In contrast, the aircraft that have three engines, meaning that if one engine malfunctions, the aircraft still has two fully operational engines, minimizing the risk of losing control or making an emergency landing. Moreover, before the introduction of extended-range twin-engine operational performance standards, twin-engine aircraft were restricted in how far they could fly from an alternate airport. Trijets and quadjets, however, were allowed to operate on longer routes thanks to their additional engines. While ETOPS has enabled modern twinjets to fly long-haul transoceanic routes, trijets still offer a higher level of safety in emergencies, particularly on routes over remote areas with no nearby airports. Another advantage of these jets is that they distribute thrust across three engines, reducing stress on each individual engine. This extends engine lifespan and lowers the risk of mechanical failure due to excessive strain. By sharing the workload among three engines, it ensures more stable long-term operation and improved reliability. Notably, according to Liam News, an ambitious concept known as the Ecoliner was once proposed as an alternative to the Boeing 777-300 and Boeing 747. This idea was not a traditional trijet, but rather a massive double-deck aircraft with two main engines supplemented by a smaller third engine at the tail. This third engine would provide extra thrust during takeoff and serve as a backup in case one of the main engines failed. The concept aimed to combine the fuel efficiency of twin-engine aircraft with the stability of a tri-engine design, reducing operating costs while maintaining high passenger capacity. It also revives the legacy of the DC-10 and MD-11, presenting a smart solution to maintain performance without the inefficiencies of four-engine aircraft. However, Ecoliner remained only a conceptual idea and was never developed into an actual project. However, not everyone agrees. Some experts argue that adding a third engine, even a small one, would strip the aircraft of the efficiency advantage that traditional twin-engine jets offer. Meanwhile, the aviation industry continues to favor smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft over larger designs. That said, the idea still holds a unique appeal. Airbus once explored a similar concept and found that a downsized double-deck aircraft with three engines could reduce fuel consumption by up to 30% compared to the A380. This presents an entirely new approach, maintaining high passenger capacity without relying on four engines. Now, imagine this, a compact version of the Airbus A380, retaining its iconic double-deck design, but integrating trijet technology, bridging the gap between current aircraft and the future, where twin-engine powerhouses may become viable for ultra-large planes. This could be exactly what Emirates and other major carriers have been waiting for. Because in the next one to two decades, the Airbus A380 will completely be phased out. And unless a worthy successor emerges, the airline industry will have to face a harsh reality, twin-engine aircraft as the only option. Yes, 
unless Airbus or Boeing dares to break the mold. The advantages of trijets are clear, but why did previous the aircraft models ultimately fail? Tri-engine jets were once an optimal solution in an era when twin-engine technology was not powerful enough to support long-haul flights. However, this aircraft type gradually disappeared due to advancements in engine technology and changes in aviation regulations. First, one of the main reasons for the decline of tri-jets was the development of more powerful jet engines. When these jets first emerged, twin-engine aircraft lacked the necessary thrust to operate large, wide-body jets on long-haul routes. However, the introduction of next-generation engines such as the General Electric GE90, Rolls-Royce Trent 700, and Pratt and & Whitney PW4000 provided enough power for a large twin-engine aircraft like the Boeing 777 and Airbus A330. As a result, trijets lost their appeal, as these newer twin-engine models could perform the same missions with greater efficiency. Second, Beyond technical limitations, trijets were significantly less economical compared to twin-engine aircraft. Maintaining three engines instead of two led to higher operating costs. Additionally, trijets consumed more fuel than optimized twin jets, which benefited from aerodynamic advancements and fuel-saving technology. For airlines, modern twin-engine aircraft became the more cost-effective choice, reducing expenses while increasing operational efficiency and, ultimately, profitability. Third, another major factor in the decline of trijets was the evolution of aviation safety regulations. In the past, twin-engine aircraft were restricted from flying too far from alternate airports, giving trijets and quadjets, four-engine aircraft, a clear advantage on long-haul transoceanic routes. However, with the introduction of ETOPS, or Extended Range Twin-Engine Operational Performance Standards, Modern twin jets like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 gained approval for extended overwater operations with high safety standards. This eliminated the need for tri-engine aircraft, further sealing their fate in commercial aviation. Finally, the emergence of more viable twin-engine aircraft ultimately led to a decline in interest in trijets. Models like the Boeing 777, Airbus A330, Boeing 787, and Airbus A350 delivered superior operational performance, fuel efficiency, and lower maintenance costs. Without any clear advantage over modern twin jets, trijets were gradually phased out of commercial aviation. In conclusion, trijets were once a practical solution, but they failed to maintain their relevance in the face of rapid advancements in aviation technology. However, if the manufacturer considers maintaining huge aircraft like A380 or 747, Transform them to trijet is a not bad idea. What do you think? Is the trijet still relevant in today's era? Share your thoughts with us. As always, thank you for being here and we wish you safe and enjoyable flights.